Hey Scorpio, what's going on? We're here with the Timeless Reading, welcome. The first card that we have out is the Magician. The second card that we have out is Page of Wands. Okay. The Magician is calling something to your attention, something to your focus. Page of Wands is the feeling of inspiration that you get to do something, to participate in something, like I want to be there, or I want to be doing that, or now I feel inspired to create this, like that type of thing. Like a path that opens up that you would feel inspired to walk upon. Now I'm seeing five of swords and I'm seeing two of cups which can feel like a bit of a split that happens between you and another person something that would keep you from participating maybe in a way that you initially wanted to Magician and Page of Wands is like, I have an intention to be here. I'm focused on being here. I'm giving this my energy and you know, like what you water grows. So it feels like the path before you that you want to be on, which it seems like, it seems like this is something that you're doing with another person. Cause I'm seeing the two of cups here and six of pentacles is somebody that you feel like there's there's compatibility with them, there's shared values with them. It feels like a, a back and forth that you would have with this person where uh, there's, a, there's a sense of balance between the two of you. Having Five of Swords though can be a bit of a problem because Five of Swords, let's actually rewind a little bit. Magician is gonna be about your intention and like where your mind is. Page of Wands is that part of you that can feel like this very pure part of yourself that's like, this makes me excited, I want to be here. Or this is inspiring to me, I want to participate in this. Or like that road is looking really good. So it's that part of you that's like very liberated and also very pure because it's like the pure energy of your fire. So fire is like what motivates you, what inspires you, what makes you want to live your life, like that type of thing. Five of Swords is when we feel like we need to protect ourselves for some reason. So it's like, I'm feeling insecure now and so this part of me is coming up and I'm shutting down because of it. Like before I was excited, but now something's going on mentally for me and I'm kind of like dialing that back and it feels like this is now impacting a relationship of yours. So in the beginning, you can initially feel like I was in such a pure space where like my intention was totally focused on this. I don't know what this was that happened yet, but Five of Swords again is gonna be something where there can be like, I'm gonna be judged or I'm feeling unsafe for some reason or this is bringing up an insecurity for me. And it can also be a time too when there can be projections onto another person or if you're, if you're the one that's dealing with this, you can feel like you have something that's going on with someone that you're really enjoying and they're shutting down. Or you guys like are becoming enemies in a moment where it's like, I thought that we were doing this together. So Five of Swords will be that thing that feels like it separates you and this person. And if you're the one that's sort of bringing this energy into the relationship, it can feel like you feel a separation between your heart and your mind. So your heart was involved in something, but then you can feel like your mind is telling you like, I don't know if this is safe to do, or like, what if this happens? Like you need to protect yourself or look at the way that this person's looking at you or the way that they might look at you. You know, all this stuff that sort of comes up from a place of like, I don't want to be judged, but really I'm actually judging myself here. That type of thing. I don't want to be perceived in a way that I don't want to be perceived. Two of Cups means that this would be a feeling that you would have with somebody that you would feel close with. So this is somebody that like you have a, a tight knit bond with this person. I actually want to see, I want to see what initially triggered this. Like why did this come up? Because I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any reason yet. I'm just seeing it come up. 
Maybe you haven't made the connection yet of where this came from. You can sense that it's here, like now this part of me is activated, but I don't know why that happened. But I wanna get to the bottom of this. Why is Five of Swords here? For those of you that the Five of Swords isn't your energy, you can feel like things were going well with you and another person. And that, like you guys were doing something together, whatever it was, and then you can feel like they went cold or something like that. That can be the feeling. Someone could have gotten scared for some reason. Okay, this has to do with something going on emotionally. This can be like an abandonment wound or like something having to do with attachment. This feels like something that someone's being worked on. This, it looks like this comes from, uh, this can come from someone's moon within their chart. That's what this is feeling most of all to me or if they have water placements. Because I'm seeing Queen of Cups come out. So this can be something having to do with feminine energies and them feeling like triggered for some reason so it can be like somebody that was supposed to nurture me didn't nurture me and then i got worried that that was going to happen in this situation or somebody that's supposed to like have compassion or empathy for me like didn't or there was some type of neglect you know it can be things like that where somebody that was meant to be like in some type of caretaking role so the person that's feeling triggered, they can be like looking, if you're the other person, they can be looking to you to sort of play this role for them, but it can be because they're not doing it for themselves. And so this is popping up because it's not, it's not necessarily your job to be doing this, you know, like we all have to find that part within ourselves. Otherwise we become very dependent externally on another person, which if that's your thing, that's your thing, but it can, it makes you really vulnerable to something externally. And then you always feel like something's missing because you're not showing up for that part of yourself. So that's what I'm seeing is going on here. It can be something that was emotionally being held onto. It can also be like, a lack of wanting to be vulnerable, a lack of wanting to be seen, but from an emotional perspective of like, if, if I do this, what if I don't emotionally get what I need? Like that type of thing is what I'm seeing. You know what this Five of Swords is feeling like to me? Sometimes when we've gone through difficult stuff that we haven't totally integrated, we can be fine and fine and fine and then we get to like the like a threshold of that where something just becomes triggering. Something becomes like, okay, this is like overwhelming for me now or I was fine up until this point. It's like going into the water and it gets deeper and deeper and deeper and it's like I was fine until right there and then it just became like overwhelming emotionally for me. It's like something something happened. Something was crossed. But this doesn't have to be because I'm not seeing like an event that happened with you and this person, it can be something that was like specifically going on internally with them that can be related to their past stuff. Cause I'm, I'm not seeing where this came from. It's like everything's fine. And then it's like the random five of swords is here. So someone did get triggered, but it can be like internal stimuli where this is coming from and not necessarily something that happened externally. So take that as you will. So if you're the one that's on the other end of this, it's not because of something that you did, it's like their own stuff that they're moving through, which it kind of would be anyway, but there isn't something where it's like, oh, that happened and then that's why that was the reaction. It's kind of like this person may actually feel triggered when they get excited about certain things, when they care about something, when they're like, oh, that makes me happy or I'm expressing that I want that or that I want to be here and that can be something that then they're like, well, what if it's taken away? It can be like that type of thing, you know? It's like being, this person can even feel too, the person that's the five of swords, they can even feel 
triggered for some reason like when they're having fun or when they're having a good time or when they're in a space where they're allowing themselves to just freely express there can be something about that that they feel like unsafe when that's happening and they shut down because of it and feel insecure that's the feeling that i'm getting from this this can also be somebody too that like they had some type of past experience when they enjoyed things they were made fun of for it and so they felt like i can't show that part of myself the part of me that like enjoys the things that i enjoy they could have been shamed or something like that that's what this is feeling like so it starts off with somebody being like oh these are the things that i care about or this is something that i want to be doing and then it, even if it's on an unconscious level it's like that stuff started coming out and then the shutting down because of that and i'm seeing it impact like you and somebody that you're very close with here where it's like i thought that we were both like doing this together whatever it is that you're doing because i'm seeing the interaction between you and this person and it's like i'm seeing there be compatibility between the two of you i'm seeing there be shared values i'm seeing the relationship look like like there's a, a sense of things being like equal between the two of you. Like this isn't the type of thing where you feel like you're left wanting. This is something that feels like it has a nice composure within the relationship. But because of this coming up, this is like a block from the ego that comes up where it's like person feels they need to protect themselves now. And then the, the masking that happens because of that and whatever that ends up looking like. It can look like many different things, but it's gonna be something that will push away the other person, where it's like, oh, you got too, more close than I'm comfortable with, because when I've let somebody in like that, I've gotten hurt, and again, like that part, that I still haven't gotten over that, I still haven't integrated that, it's like that type of thing. So if you're like, why did they push me away, if you're the person on the other end of this, that's what was happening with them. I'm seeing a tower. This could have come out, come about somewhat unexpectedly. They could have felt like things were moving too fast for them to like mentally adjust to it. So they could have felt it could have been destabilizing for something going on mentally. I'm seeing Magician and I'm seeing Eight of Wands, so this can be like brain sort of zooming around and it can be whatever movement is happening, it can be happening too quickly for someone. Like it, it can feel like too much energy. How do you work with this? For those of you that this is this is your five of swords, like you're not being like affected by the other person, like this is your thing that you have going on. This is about working with that part of yourself and figuring out where this is coming from. Cause it's it's something that can even conflict with the like communication where you could be like telling somebody about this or presenting it to them and even trying to understand it within yourself, but you can feel blocked off from doing that because it's like, is this a safe situation? It can feel again like this sort of shift that happens or like a switch that happens or goes off. So five of swords is kind of like like isolating i want to be on on my own right now because like being close to this other person is bringing stuff up for me and i'm shutting down because of it but then three of pentacles is like you have to be working with another person in that situation for those of you that this is an interpersonal thing and so it's like how does five of swords work with three of pentacles when five of swords is like not in the mood to be a team player right now because i have this thing going on but three of pentacles requires everybody to be a team player because it's about collaborating even in the most basic senses if you bring this back to being between you and yourself 
this can be a part of yourself that's like very unwilling you try to work with this part of yourself and it can be very resistant to you working with it because again it's like the defense mechanisms the mental blocks that come up that i don't feel safe right now and so i'm not feeling grounded and so i'll do anything and any measures any lengths in order to protect myself here it can be difficult to sort of penetrate that part of yourself in order to get it to shift in order to change because this is something that's like an adaptive thing right like this this came from a place of like you were wounded at one point in time maybe many times this is like the safeguard for that and so how do you learn to sort of take that back off like how do you take that armor back off and you're gonna have to um it's gonna take like psychological work like shadow shadow work which is just going into the spaces where there is an awareness about certain things like the part of you that's like I'm not aware that I'm actually in a safe environment right now where it's okay for me to vul be vulnerable and let my guard down. So it's that part of you that's still like locked into a different space, like a fight or flight. And then it shuts down your heart because of that. So like for those of you that you switch into this, you can feel like you become really cerebral and it becomes kind of like like an animal almost where you sort of disconnect from what's going on emotionally from you so even though you have somebody over here that like you care about very deeply and they also care about you too i'm seeing it be a very mutual thing between the two of you um like very equal within the relationship at the same time there can be a part of you that when this comes out it like blocks you off from certain feelings that you have that would allow you to recognize oh this is somebody that's like loves me cares about me this is somebody i'm close with this is somebody i'm safe with like those types of things but yeah it can be very very difficult to penetrate this part of yourself and i think too that there are multiple levels we can work on to address this but it's something that feels very deep-seated even you can feel that within yourself if you feel like this is something that you can't totally work out on your own maybe you're gonna have somebody help you out with this if this is something that you feel like is impacting your quality of life You don't have to have somebody else help you work through it, but it really just depends on your situation and what you want. There's no like right or wrong way to, to go about addressing this. You have something that's coming up. It's something that's coming from a place where, again, it's like an adaptive thing of like, I learned to do this. Now I need to like unprogram that from myself you know like i need to figure out how to calm my central nervous system and work with this part of myself but again it can be a part of you that's like i don't want to work with you so you're like please like i want to feel reconnected and it's that part of you that's like i don't feel safe so i think too working with this part of yourself rather than being frustrated or like trying to push it away or pretend it's not there being like what is this telling me what is this communicating with me like why are you here why are you coming up right now like that type of thing to sort of like stand there and witness it can be helpful because once you're understanding something once you're learning which is just understanding how something works then you're going to be able to integrate it so you're going to have to look at it it's what's necessary here for this. And then you're gonna be able to work with it, but you have to get it to be in a space to work with you. And you know too, like just think about it, when, when kids are little, all they wanna do is be heard for the most part. But if a little kid is refusing to do something, it's usually because someone's like, you need to do this or you need to do that. And they feel like nobody's listening to them and they're not being respected, you know? And so you have to treat this part of yourself like that. Like to listen to this part of yourself and figure out like why it's coming up because it's carrying a message for you. It's coming to tell you something. So seeing it like that, like, wow, you're here to communicate something with me. Thank you, you know? Even if it's impacting a relationship in a way that you don't want to right now, one of the first steps of working with this is to understand that it's here 
it's here to protect you and even if it's doing so in a way that's like harmful to your relationship at some point in time like this was really what you needed and that's why it's here so even though this situation isn't those same situations from the past it's like having a hard time reading that and understanding that so you have to like work with it and sort of coax that part of yourself and be like we're in a different place this is a different situation Again, it's going to be like multi-layered the way that one would need to approach this. And it also depends specifically on like what you're working with and what you're dealing with here. But you can feel now at this point, like this is a responsibility that you have. Like there's a responsibility. It looks like that you have to this relationship. Like there may be a certain role that you play within this relationship and that you need to show up in the way that you feel like it's my duty to show up this way within the relationship and to also be collaborative and willing when it comes to the communication so it can feel like everybody's communicating but this is also you with yourself because you can feel like this is the thing that separates you from being whole you can feel like there's a divide like between your heart and your mind at times where you're like maybe having a hard time getting in touch with what you're feeling at times it's not always going to feel like that i wonder too if there was if there was like some type of something that happened where you felt like the weight of something and that could have thrown you off because i'm seeing king of pentacles so this can be us being in a space where like we want to be perceived in a certain way like i want to be perceived as reliable i want to be perceived as responsible i want to be perceived as a good communicator as following through with um my response on my responsibilities or the things that i say that i'm gonna do something could have happened around that type of thing in this situation i do feel like i do feel like there's really good communication between you and this person when everybody's in the place to be doing that like i'm seeing communication values be very much aligned here can feel like there's a little bit of an offset of power not everyone's gonna feel like that and also not every like couple is gonna feel like that for some of you like one person can be feeling like this within the situation like there's an offset of power or responsibility something like that just something i'm noticing here so how do you get these energies to work together yeah, I do feel some different characters that are coming up within this. Like we have King of Pentacles and we have King of Swords. So these are like the more stable energies, more like doing what needs to be done, showing up, like reliable, like willing to communicate. Over here we have the fire energies, but they look like younger fire energies. So this can be like doing things quickly, moving quickly, um, and it can also be like a little bit unstable as fire is, as fire can be, you know, it like spreads very quickly. Um, it can become uncontrollable. It's a very like raw energy and a very raw power. Feels too like maybe somebody did something impulsively or like without thinking it through and that could have triggered this state for them. Because I'm seeing Magician and I'm seeing Knight of Wands and Magician is like something that somebody's doing or that they're intending to do. Like that's the place that their mind is in. And then Knight of Wands is like then doing that thing. Like I have the thought and then I do the thing and I don't really think about it. And then I'm seeing Five of Swords. So this can be like somebody did something that sort of within themselves. Because I'm seeing this be like the person that's experiencing the Five of Swords did something that sort of triggered that state within them. Where may have had an idea about something and done it, whatever it was, without like fully thinking about it and just 
like done it quickly. And it could have been something where there was like a disconnect in that moment. Something about shared duties and shared responsibilities or like reliability, stability, I'm seeing that have something to do with this. Then the way that this feels like it loops around is that after there's something that comes up that's connected with reciprocity in some way or connected with a, a not a relationship connected with it, an interaction of some sort where there's like a, an exchange then i'm seeing things move where it's like finding common ground so there's this mutual exchange or this interaction that happens where it feels like there's full presence and that can be to like the finding of common ground. It can be the recognition of compatibility. It's like the, the coming back together of things where it feels like a mutual space where like everybody's doing their part, that type of thing. And then I'm seeing things move quickly. And then it's like, oh, we're on this road again, like that. And then three of pentacles comes in and it's like, okay, now we're gonna work together. It feels like you were, you were like riding down the road with this person and then um, like someone had a thought and then the wheel sort of came off and then like something was happening and there can also be like a difference that you feel with you and this person because I feel like knight of wands and king of pentacles I feel like these are maybe the two different sides of things or the two different people where knight of wands can be the person that sees themselves as sort of like doing things quickly and taking action quickly like in its energy where it's like a more self-aware energy it can be somebody that they they have their feelings they take action based off of that and they're really just trusting their gut and then king of pentacles in its more like aware state can be somebody that you can trust somebody that's that's down and not going to switch it up somebody that is going to follow through with what they said like somebody that you can rely on or depend on when they're like i'm gonna play this role they're gonna stay playing that role they're not gonna flip flop anything like that but there was like some type of issue between these two energies and then if we look at knight of wands and it's like less conscious energy it can be doing things without thinking about it like yep i had that feeling or i had that idea and then i just did something and now it's like hitting that wall and king of pentacles can be somebody that's like stuck in their way and stuck in routine to the point where there's not growth there's not expansion there's not adapting so those can also be like another that can be another side of things as well coming back to that having that like mutual exchange with this person i'm then seeing things get moving I'm seeing both of you guys be like on the road again and like working together to repair the, the vehicle. Then I'm seeing it be like, oh, look at us. We're connecting with one another. Two of Cups is like that, that coming back together where there had been a split. So it can feel like a repair. That's what this is feeling like. Intimacy, emotionally, um, vulnerability transparency like those types of things and I'm seeing king of swords which feels like there's also communication at the tail end of this as well so it's like oh we're we're actually like in this together it feels like recognizing the person across from you and being like oh we care about each other you know like that type of thing we understand each other and king of swords is feeling like there's like conversation that then happens and there can be a conversation that happens about needs and stuff like that and also like a more practical side of things too 
So that's what I'm seeing. If whatever is popping up into one's head and becoming concrete is communicated, I'm seeing that it's showing that things will remain balanced, like the wheels will remain balanced and they're not going to fall off. But it, it feels very much like the continuous communication and like checking in or something like that is what's being encouraged here to be like, where are you today mentally? Where am I today mentally? Like that type of thing. Or like, where are you with this? Or like, what do you want here? Like that type of stuff. The checking in, I'm seeing that's what's encouraged here to keep everything running smoothly. And it feels very much like, like things quickly go back to working the way that they're supposed to, where it feels like there's a balance then within the dynamic. And one can also, one can feel this internally and one can also feel this within their relationship simultaneously. They're going to reflect. What's going on inside is also going to be reflected externally. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.